This is how you make even more sales without knocking more doors, without getting more leads, without spending more money on marketing, without turning your attention to branding and without hiring more sales reps. If you think it's a tall claim, then pay close attention and prove it right or wrong for yourself. Now imagine that you're on a sinking ship and that ship has three holes in the hull. One is basketball size. The other one is tennis ball size. And the other one is just a little pee on ping pong ball size. Which hole do you plug first? You plug the basketball size hole first, don't you? Because that basketball size hole is taking on the most water and is a threat to sinking the ship. Now in your business, whether you're in sales, marketing, leadership, or an owner, in your sales process, your organization, whatever the case may be, your marketing funnel, you have a gaping, hemorrhaging hole, but instead of water coming in, it's cash flooding out that you should have and could have been capturing. Now, the reason that we wanna think like this is so many of us have this outward approach to growth. More sales, more hiring, more marketing, more leads, more this, more this, as opposed to turning inward and being like, hey, how do I just do this better? Because if I just like capitalize more on this, this, and this, and I could get way more juice from the squeeze, well, in this example I'm about to share with you, that more juice from the squeeze is 33.3% more sales, which is more income, more growth, more profit, just optimized from turning inward. So that's what we're gonna turn our attention to right now. And you're about to watch an excerpt of my members only event for the Roofing and Solar Reform Alliance, where we come together to outsell, outgrow, and outcompete the rest as we stomp the scum out. I'm Adam Benzman, founder of the Roofing and Solar Reform Alliance, and I'm so glad to have you here. And if you think you're one of us, you can click the link in the description or text the word DEMO to 303 222 7133, so you can see and decide for yourself in a private tour. I'll even pop over our membership guide to you. But for now, let's jump into our video so you can see exactly for yourself how to get up to 33.33% more sales without changing much else. Let's get started. So what I wanna use as an example, let's say you're closing at a 30% close rate. This, by the way, is a relatively standard industry benchmark. I know that there's companies in here closing way higher than that. Jacob, your team's killing it. What's the close rate for your team right now? Because it's kind of unbelievable when you shared it in the leadership roundtable. Between 50 and 55%, which is phenomenal. There's companies I know that are hovering in the te high teens wanting to inch up, but industry standard is about in the 30s. We got a team, by the way, uh, who had a gentleman who was closing at 71%, and then it inched up. By the way, he's 21 years old, no sales experience, went through the system, closing at 71%, and then that went up to 76%. Did I mess up any of those numbers, Andy? Spot on on the numbers. Now, assuming this, 30%, there's different ways that we can approach growth. I'll, I'll hit this on marketing, I'll tie this all back into marketing, inbound leads, everything. For many of us, what's the common thing that you hear in door-to-door -door sales? Go knock more doors. Who's heard this? Just go knock more doors. So I'm, I'm gonna paint a picture of why that advice can suck sometimes. By the way, you should knock more doors, but should that be the way that you try to drive more business? You'll find out. If I wanted more leads, I would need to increase my leads by 30 to 40% more leads to get one more sale. Okay, so if you're knocking doors, you have to knock 30 to 40% more doors. Who here wants to knock 40% more doors? Oh, I was really thinking the whole room would raise their hand. All right, now, imagine this. If you increased your close rate by 10%, so you go from 30 to a 40% close rate, how much did your close rate go up? So I hear, thank you says 10%, is that right or wrong? He goes from 30 to 40%. Let's hear it, is he right or is he wrong? He's wrong. Because if it went up 10%, that would be 3%. Going from 30% close rate to 40% close rate is a 33.33% increase. Because if we move the decimal point over, it's 3%.
It's a 33.33% increase, which means you will close one more sale for every 10 you run. So you have two choices, get 30 to 40 more leads to get one more deal or increase your close rate by 33%, which brings you from 30 to 40% to get one more sale. But here's the big difference. If you increase your close rate from 30 to 40%, your income goes up by 33.33%. If you're making 100,000 a year, you just gave yourself a $33,000 bonus. If you're making 200,000 a year, you just bought yourself a new truck. If you are running a company and your team does this, you could buy a boat, <laughs> a couple houses, maybe even an airplane. What we often do is we look for all these various ways to make a difference when what we really need to do is look at the leak. What's the basketball in our business?